Hi, this is Mark, November 8, Mike Hotel, N8MH, and I thought I'd do a little YouTube video showing a, a merger of two technologies, a little bit of old with a little bit of the new. Uh, this is my Kenwood TS830S, classic old hybrid radio, tube finals. Um, it's a good mixture in and of itself between the old world with tube finals and the new world with the otherwise transistorized radio. And a novel feature of this radio is that it has an intermediate frequency output already on the radio from the factory. It has an 8.83 megahertz IF output, and it's an RCA jack available on the rear of the radio. I have the radio tuned to 80 meters, and so it uh, it's actually outputting that IF frequency. I'm going to move the camera around, show you the connector on the back just have an RCA connector to a short coax jumper that is connected to the bit of new on this report it's the FunCube Dongle Pro Plus this is an SDR based receiver it's good in HF all the way up through a um, couple gigahertz range perhaps with a few gaps in a few places but using that FunCube Dongle uh, set to the IF frequency of 8.83 megahertz um, you can take your Kenwood TS830 and have a merge merge of the new world showing uh, SDR received signal what you can see is there's a whole lot more than one signal on this SDR output from the FunCube Dongle Pro Plus so I have the SDR program in this case it's SDR sharp tuned to the same frequency as the IF output plus or minus a little bit depending on the tuning and sideband and whatnot and what you can see are all the num numerous QSOs this particular SDR device has 192 kilohertz bandwidth and so what you're actually seeing from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen is 192 kilohertz of uh, 80 meters so I have the two pretty well synchronized so if I take the radio and turn in on a QSO, what you're hearing now is the actual radio and the audio output of it. It's the output of the radio. Now, to, if I turn it down and go to the headphones, you'll hear the processed audio coming out of the SDR receiver. Not the best audio, but my home computer only has earphones, so I don't have an external speaker, so it's a little difficult to hear. But What's interesting is to have both audio levels going at the same time, and what you can hear is the echo from the processing delay don't know if you're hearing that or not but there's a little bit of a delay a fraction of a second delay because of the SDR receiver but the neat part is you can uh, use a visual tune here and tune in whichever whichever QSO you want You're hearing the headphones now. I have the radio down. So 8.83 megahertz intermediate <clears throat> tuning in on the signal. And uh, that you could also do a split very easily. If I wanted to, just with the mouse, if I wanted to split and listen to this, I can because it's within the inter intermediate frequency of the radio. So I'm listening down the band. You can do the math. Uh, in terms of about 100 kilohertz down the band, let's see, 830, 60, so uh, 70 or 80 kilohertz down the band from the original signal. And over here, my radio is still set on the original frequency. That would let you work a split for a DX pileup or see something too. Anyhow, it's quite fun to be able to uh, mix the old with the new and use the SDR as the receiver and use the radio as the transmitter and you can end up and do some pretty clever things. Anyhow, that concludes my 
rather lengthy short video. I hope you've enjoyed it.